सो हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी दैट इज फ्रॉम मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया हैज रिसेंटली लॉन्च देयर इनोवेटिव साइंस परसुएट फॉर इंस्पायर्ड रिसर्च दैट इज एप्रीवेटेड एज इंस्पायर एंड अंडर दिस स्कीम दे हैव लॉन्च शी फेलोशिप दैट इज स्कॉलरशिप फॉर हायर एजुकेशन सो इट इज अ इनिशिएटिव ऑफ डीएसटी टू कंडक्ट रिसर्च इन साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी बैकग्राउंड so call for application under she 2023 has been announced and here is the pdf which i am going to share with you and give you some important tips tricks and more information on she so suppose if you have this dst inspire fellowship so it will give you roughly around 6000 per month and 60000 per annum to 80000 per annum plus 20000 mentorship grant so this is all the salary that you will obtain as a scholarship in she fellowship and there are certain criteria certain necessity documentation work which we have uh, shared in this video and which we are going to give you a, a brief account on those uh, information and uh, some of the percentage that you are required to fulfill this application scheme so first of all i try to convince you about this scheme for all the girls and all the women out there at the uh, age of 17 to 22 so this is the age limit for this scheme as you can see clearly they have abbreviated scholarship for higher education that is she so she means they are inspiring girls candidate and they are inspiring women candidate to apply more and more for their higher education like after 12th in ug or in pg so this fellowship is for three main criteria recorded as ug pg and class 12 so here is we are going to start the video about this inspire scholarship that is she so as you can see that under inspire scholarship scheme for higher education scholarship are offered to pursue undergraduate as i mentioned it before for ug pg and class 12 but you have to be in the top one of the respective boards or eligible rank in the chosen free jee score that is of main advance or within the 10000 rank in this competitive exam so you can apply it from neat aipmt ntsc jbn sts or any other international olympiad or if you are a medalist like if you have gained uh, top 1% or 1 2 3 rank in the uh, national olympiad or any university exam so you can uh, apply and are eligible for the inspire she fellowship now how you can apply and what are the age what are the eligibility what are the criteria so in this video we will discuss it so you have just have to go to this website that say https www.onlineinspire.gov.in just you have to click on the website once you click on the website a left side uh, of the website show you about the scholarship internship schemes 2023 if you click on the scholarship then the first application is call for she fellowship so you just have to go there and the age limit is 17 to 23 years this you have to keep in your mind eligibility is criteria is that all the meritorious students who are top 1% of their 12th or any state board center board in addition students who are pursuing natural and basic sciences because this is only for the sciences and technology so basic sciences in bs bs or integrated msc or ms level so you can apply otherwise students who have scored jee of iit or aipmt or neat or among the 10000 rank they can also apply or ntsc holders any science or maths international olympiad medalist you can apply for all the fellowship scheme inspire that is she so emoluments which we, they will give you is the 5000 per month around 60000 per annum 
एंड मेंटोरशिप ग्रांड ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड पर एन एम सो दिस इज द इमोल्यूमेंट विच यू विल बी ग्रांटेड नाउ हाउ टू अप्लाई इन केस this uh, fellowship is for online uh, mode only so no need to send application via any other delivery method or any other hard copy so online you have to apply this is the website given you just have to click on and apply as following the uh, examples or according to the instructions which they have provided on the portal the last date is 9th november so you have to keep in mind that this application is opened from 10 september and now up to 9th november they have the last date and then if you want to uh, send email or if you have any inquiry you can send your email to this email id or uh, after the video which we are going to upload it you can mention your names and comments in our comment section we will reply all your queries if we are not in the state that you your queries are different or your queries are irrelevant but if you have relevant queries we will definitely reply to it now what are the documents you need to apply or you need to upload in support of your application so there are majorly seven documents included first is passport size photograph that is the mandatory a strict mark um, verification mark is there so in 1 2 3 4 there are four documents which are mandatory you have to upload on the website specifications are given 50 kb to 1 mb and then passport size photograph mandatory 10th mark sheet is mandatory 12th mark sheet suppose if you are applying for the 12th mark uh, 12th category class 12th so that is mandatory if you are applying for bsc the then class 12th mark sheet is mandatory if you are applying for pg msc so your graduation mark sheet is important fourth is endorsement letter so what kind of endorsement letter this is the this is a kind of permission or any other instructions that your director or your principal has to give to the authority that is dst inspire so endorsement letter is a type of recommendation also you can say is a type of permission or is a type of noc so endorsement letter should be from the principal or director or registrar of the university it is mandatory so you have to keep in mind that you should prepare these documents before applying to the application portal so endorsement letter you have to make sure that it will be completed in 1 to 2 days and then you will apply for the uh, fellowship on the online portal so no need to wait for the last one day or last two day of the application if you are eligible and you want to apply start it now last eligibility that is provided by the state board this is uh, not mandatory they have noted that certificate yes if you have neat certificate iit j in certificate or ntsc and if you are applying from this category of your application so you have to upload it other any cast like if you belong to sc st or if you belong to any other cast pwd so you can apply for that also so these are one to four documents are necessary and others you can you may upload as you wish last date is 9 november and sure one is given ki how much you have to score to be in the top one category of class 12 examination it is according to the year 22 but for 23 you have to score more in top 1% of the class so first we can discuss about the disciplines so here are the disciplines that are physics chemistry mathematics biology statistics geology astronomy uh, overall 18 disciplines are there so you can apply to these uh, disciplines now we will talk about how much percentage so they have given the name of boards and these are roughly around 30 30 name of boards so uh, look carefully ki how much percentage you want to avail 
so uh, suppose for amu you have to avail 97% in class 12 uh, if you are in andhra pradesh you have to avail 97.1% uh, for example if you are from assam your percentage should be 81 or higher than 81 if you are in cbsc board like all over india cbsc board is there so you have to have a percentage of 95.4 or above to become the 1% of total class or total board and eligibility for the inspire she fellowship next if you are from haryana you have to be in 89.6 category or higher than that if you are from rajasthan you should have 90 percentage or higher if you are from punjab you should have 95.4 or higher if you have uttarakhand you have 84.4 so this is the uh, top one cut off list for class 12th examination so you should have this or higher than this because this was for 2022 so maybe this year the top 1% cut off will go higher or maybe it will go lower but this is the example they have given in this pdf that you can uh, search of these uh, uh, marks in your cbse or in your 12th class and then you can occupy your application according to these cut off so they have a uh, note here that cut off for the year 2023 for perspective board shall be finalized by dst on board inclusive method so they will finalize but this is not the final list instructions for filling up online application they have given you just visit to the website then you have to go to announcement section there is no need to send hard copies the last date is 9 november and applicants who are registering or who are applying for inspire should have a working email address or phone number so this is all about inspire she fellowship so in hindi if you want to listen we have another video which we have posted two days earlier now we are making this video in english for english medium students or students who have difficulty in learning in hindi so uh, this was all about uh, dst department of science technology and she fellowship so all the girls out there all the boys and all the people who want to take inspire fellowship scheme for 2023 must apply and all the best for the application Thank you very much for watching the video and kindly share it as maximum.